We are here today for two reasons. First one is that I like to challenge myself, also in the kitchen. And second one is I'm hungry, so let's cook. I'm cooking beef burgundy. It's a French beef stew. And you can cook it for like one or two days. I'm gonna be cooking it for two because then it should taste better. But I'm no expert, so we'll see. But let's keep going. Everything in here, this recipe also includes wine, but don't worry, alcohol boils out. Now into the fridge for 24 hours, and thank you. So, see you guys tomorrow. So, 24 hours later, and it looks like something has happened in the pot. Like, the colors are a bit different, so, so far so good still hungry but now i need to separate everything in the pot and start cooking all the ingredients individually and then put them back together so let's start Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be alive. So the stew is halfway there, like now I'm gonna put it into the oven for an hour, then I'm gonna take it back out so that I can put in the mushrooms and pearl onions, then it goes back into the oven, so see you guys in an hour. So looks better than I expected, I'm gonna add the last ingredients, the pearl onions and then also the mushrooms and then I'm gonna stir it for a pit so yeah I'd say that it tastes quite good already so so can't wait to can't wait to eat it still hungry but now I'm gonna put it back into the oven for an hour so see you when it's supposed to be ready because I love you baby So the food is finally ready and it looks amazing. It was in the oven longer than it was supposed to be because I wanted the meat to get nice and tender and it finally got. So I've already tasted this because, or like from the pot and it was really delicious. So I'd say challenge success. I'm not gonna touch this one because we're gonna use it to take some photos. I think that I've never actually had like this nice meat at home before, so very cool. And if you wanna try this dish, I'm gonna leave the recipe down below and make sure that you follow all the steps because then it will be really good. So leave a comment below if I should do like more this kind of challenges and see you guys in the next one. Peace.